Hello everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about Agent Force and the uh, knowledge article. So today we will build an agent that is able uh, to answer questions based on either knowledge article or a PDF file. So as you can see, I will go in setup and what we will do is create uh, a service agent. So I will go into agent and then I will create a brand new agent. So I will click new agent and here I will create a new agent service agent. I will remove all the different um, components that are here that are basically topics and we will start from scratch. So I will call it Salesforce for AI service agent uh, demo. And here I will um, simply write a description, a role, a company, and I will associate it with an agent user. As you can see, I just filled out the different fields. So description, the Salesforce A for AI service agent is an AI virtual assistant designed to help uh, Salesforce related query, specifically around AI data cloud and certification preparation. The role of the agent is an AI assistant uh, designed to answer and support uh, their Salesforce learning journey. Your goal is to provide accurate, timely contextual reports ensuring user understands Salesforce con except specifically uh, related to AI. So I might remove that part. And here company, uh, Salesforce for AI is a platform uh, dedicated to helping professional master Salesforce AI and data cloud concept. Okay. Agent user, I already have an agent user. You can create one if needed. Uh, I think my user is that one. Yep. And I will select enrich event conversation with the rest. Now I can select data li library. So the data library is a bucket where I will store information um, that the agent will pull. The agent will pull uh, information from a specific data library in order um, to answer question to the end user. So I have one that is already there, but I should be able to create a brand new one if needed. Okay, so I will se select service agent uh, library. I can click create and now my agent will be built with the uh, foundation requirement for me to, to test. So as you can see, if I go in here, I already have like the service agent library that is available. And you can see that I have a, a PDF file that I've uploaded here. So I can either select um, like some uh, knowledge article. So that are article that are part of service cloud knowledge or I can upload the PDF file. And uh, this is what I've done here. So I will just show you the PDF file now. So here is the PDF file. As you can see, we have some questions um, that are regard related to uh, Salesforce for AI. So for example, uh, how can I contact Salesforce for AI support? Or what are the resources that Salesforce for AI provide? Uh, or what is Salesforce for AI? Um, so all of that is a PDF file that I've uploaded in my data library. After that, um, I will show you the topic. So we will come to add a new topic from the asset library. The topic that we will look for is general FIQ. I will add this topic. And now I will refresh the conversation. And I should be able to ask question to my agent based on the PDF file. So hello, I have a question about Salesforce for AI. Could you help? So here I will ask firstly um, if I can talk, um, uh, if I can ask question. So as you can see, uh, here we will select the topic general FIQ. So that's the topic that we have uh, selected together and it contains five instructions. So basically, um, basically it tells like if you don't have like the answer uh, to the question, propose to log a case or to connect to a live agent. And if um, like, and also like do not invent anything that you don't find uh, from the data library or the PDF file that I've uploaded. That's pretty much it. You have the instruction here that are available. And if you want to update that, you can simply create a new version. And here you will be able to edit the field and provide more instruction. The other thing is like the action. So here basically we have answer question with knowledge. Um, so this is a specific action that is basically um, a prompt template um, that will allow us to interact with like some Salesforce feature. 
uh, we it takes input and it returns an output. But we will fo not focus on that today. So I will go back to the conversation. Um, so I will do that here. So you can see here you have the process, what is happening. And here you have the action, answer question with knowledge. OK, um, so um, uh, let's ask, how can I contact Salesforce for AI support uh, team? OK, I will ask a question. And from the PDF, I remember that there is this um, answer that we mentioned. So hopefully, um, the system is able to retrieve the information. So as you can see here, we have the answer. You can reach the Salesforce for AI support team directly through the contact form on their website, live site, or by emailing support at salesforceforai.com. So here, the, how does that work? Basically, we um, the agent understand that we ask for a specific instruction. So um, here, he recognized that we will use the topic answer question with knowledge. And basically, um, what he does is he have an understanding of this PDF. And we remember that on this PDF, we have a specific question like this. And basically, now it's part of the knowledge of the agent. And the agent will be able to um, understand my PDF file and um, then resonate and provide an answer. Um, so I could also ask other questions, like what is Salesforce for AI, for example? Um, so this should work as well. And then we will explain why. How does it work in the uh, background? I think one just, so um, Salesforce for AI is your go-to resource for mastering Salesforce and artificial intelligence. They offer practice exam training and expert insight tailor for Salesforce certification and AI integration. So same process, we ask a question, um, then we are able, uh, the agent understands the PDF file and will answer the question. And if you see the answer from the PDF file, it's quite um, similar, but it could reply differently. Um, like, because he understand natural language. I think one just one thing to note is that um, I've uploaded the PDF file yesterday and today I'm able to ask the question and there is a process. So there is um, a time frame that you need to wait between the moment you upload the PDF file and the moment uh, the data library and the knowledge uh, topic and action is uh, ready to be used, uh, a processing time. And if you know, are not aware of that, then you will think, oh, why it's not working? But in fact, it's just because it needs a bit of time to process. OK, so that's basically the agent. Now we can activate it. Um, but what I will show is what is happening in the background. Because in fact, when you are using agent builder, you are also using um, data cloud. Data cloud that is um, like a product from Salesforce that will allow you to uh, aggregate data from external platform and merge them into one single place, basically. Everyone have, can have different explanation, I think. It's a, it's a pretty straightforward explanation. But basically, what do we do when we have a data library and also uh, we ingest uh, a PDF file? In fact, we create a da data stream in Data Cloud because Agent Force in, is a layer on top of Data Cloud. Um, but before, like in your agent, um, when you, I will just show you again, when you, when you use, when you create the, uh, the knowledge base that is here with the PDF file uploaded, you create a data stream. And the data stream in here, as you can see, is uh, basically ingesting data. So it's ingesting the PDF file into a data model. And, um, and as you can see here, we have a few files. So you, we have uh, uh, like file chunk, file index, rag file, and hair grounding file. So like, Basically, what it does, from my understanding, it's it takes the PDF file, break it down in little pieces, a uh, little chunk of information, and based on that, it's able to understand the data, and um, and basically, uh, it becomes conversational because the system is under able to understand the data. And so here, air grounding is the data stream, and it relates to other. Uh, that data model object that you can see here. Um, so that's the process of ingesting PDF file, breaking the, breaking the PDF file into little chunk of information to understand uh, the content of this PDF file. And after that, we have what we call um, the search index. So here we can find uh, the file uh, UDMO search index. So this will uh, also contribute 
um, to be able to retrieve information within this PDF file by indexing like the information. Um, so this is what we call RAG. So it's uh, RAG meaning, so uh, retrieval augmented generation. So it's basically an AI framework for improving the quality of LLM generated response by grounding the model on external source of knowledge. So basically it's what it does. It's able to um, ground the la large language model that we are interacting with, with the PDF file as external piece of information. And after that, we also have something else that is uh, the retriever. So I'm not sure where it is, data transform. No, it's not here. Uh, data search index, data graph. I'm searching for it, I will put on. So, and here as well in Einstein Studio, you will be able to see the different retriever. So as you can see here, uh, you will have some retriever for each agent, I feel. It seems like it's like I've created two agents, but you have a default one and one, um, that is for the service agent uh, data library. So the retriever as well is used um, in data cloud to do some ground uh, grounding and also uh, doing like some um, uh, augmented uh, retrieval like RAG um, to provide more context to the LLM. So basically aggregating the data from the file, cutting it in little piece of information that can be used as context or grounding to the learning uh, uh, large language model. And then when the user will interact with the LLM, um, we will be able to ask question about this PDF file that we have asked. And like the beauty of Agent Force, I think overall is that all this process and all of the, what is happening in the background of Data Cloud has been created automatically. Um, like the only thing that I've done in Agent Force actually was to upload this a PDF file into my data library. And then like in the background, data cloud start to um, create like the index, the data, data stream, the retriever, all the different aspects that are needed for me to interact easily um, within the chat window here. So thank you uh, for watching this video about how to create an agent force knowledge um, management, like how to create an agent that can manage uh, knowledge article or um, your external information with PDF file. If you have any question, please let me know and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.